a distinct southern twang fills Kevin Decker's small Cleveland apartment. The 47-year-old musician and grandfather is a long way from home. Last summer, Kevin and his wife moved from Alabama for a life-saving operation at Cleveland Clinic. Since I had no small intestine, I wasn't receiving the proper nutrients. I was becoming weaker, losing weight, uh, showing a lot of signs of uh, other failures. My organs were failing. Since 1998, Kevin has suffered from a host of digestive diseases and too many surgeries, trips to the emergency room, and infections to count. He has no colon or small intestine and survived on intravenous nutrition for almost two years. I couldn't eat food. I spent the biggest part of my life in hunger the entire time. We all as humans love to eat, but uh, we never feel or understand how much is suffering uh, that uh, a human being will have or will experience uh, when they cannot eat a, a meal that, uh, that uh, simply we take it for granted. IV nutrients were keeping him alive, but Kevin was weak, in constant pain, and his liver was showing signs of failure. I was in desperate need of a small bowel transplant. Your life expectancy is, is dramatically shortened because of the fact that you're not receiving proper nutrients. Small intestine transplants are still relatively rare in the U.S., and many doctors don't realize that they can be successful. Now we have an outcome of 90% uh, one-year survival, 70% five-year survival. It's not any lower than other solid organs. In mid-July, Kevin was placed on the organ donor list, and just five days later, he had his transplant. There is a cure there is a miracle for you. A small bowel transplant, if that's what your body needs, is truly possible today, where just a few years ago, it wasn't even a thought. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.